Hey, Bernie Borges here, co-founder and CMO of Vengresso. I'm here with Mario Martinez, Jr., founder and CEO. And Mario, I have a question for you. Okay. You know, once in a while, I hear the following when I'm talking to someone who's potentially interested in engaging Vengresso. They say, you know, we're going to bring in an individual, a social selling trainer, and he or she is going to conduct a half-day workshop or a full-day workshop and really teach our people how to use LinkedIn. They're going to do it in, in a social selling class. And, you know, we're asked, so, you know, what makes you guys different? How do you respond to that? Mm. That's a great question. So I would probably say um, a couple things about that. One, whenever I hear that, I'll tell sales leaders, um, save your money. Save really? your money. Why? So here's the thing uh, from my perspective, and this is coming again from having been VP of sales where I launched a program um, which LinkedIn asked me to speak at their annual users conference as a result of one th or two things. One, I was able to drive 100% rep adoption and two, 100% of our reps actually attributed a sales opportunity to the sales pipeline. Mm -hmm. And uh, wh what I knew is, is that it took more than just a one day training, right? You don't just uh, bring in any sales trainer into an or into your organization all of a sudden one day and they've got everything right there's a lot more to it behavioral change there's reinforcement there's coaching there's all those types of things but barring that right something much bigger it is before you teach a man or a woman how to fish and where to fish at you got to make sure they've got the right gear the fishing pole right okay and this is super important because if a if an individual is being taught how to fish and where to fish and we haven't given them the right pole, what are the results going to be? Not good results. So in that analogy, what's the right gear from a digital selling standpoint? So in that case, we got to make sure they've got the right profile okay. that they can, that's attracting the right type of targeted customer with the right type of message. And that's the fishing pole. Okay. And that's what we do is, is uh, what we've learned is, is most trainers, there's thousands of LinkedIn trainers and social selling trainers are now called digital selling since we came out with the use of digital selling. Um, and, and, and there's thousands of them out there and there's probably some really great ones, right? Uh, like, so I, can't, I can't speak to them all. But the point is, is what I learned is that if you taught a rep, and most, well, this is what most people do, they teach a rep how to reconstruct their profile, how to write 2,000 characters of, of, of summary content, 2,000 characters of, of experience content, how to redo all their, um, uh, their headlines, and then go out and find all the multimedia and bring it to their profile. But here's the reality, Bernie, how many sales reps are actually going to go write 4,000 characters of content and go find all the multimedia to bring into their, con to their the profile zero exactly so so what we do is is LinkedIn profile makeovers for teams at scale thousands of, of sales reps we've done it for many large organizations um, and we've also done it for the small ones like you know 25 or greater um, so the key is is make sure you've got the right gear the right fishing pole before you go fishing now step number two well, let me just comment on step number yeah. one because you mentioned behavior a, a one day one time event class does not impact behavior change that's exactly right when you do, when someone goes through that LinkedIn makeover process, it boosts their confidence and it inspires them to yes. change behavior, which leads to the second step. Well, and to your point, when I was in the seat, we had less than 10% adoption. When we taught somebody how to reconstruct their profile, when we did it for them and created the templates like we do now, we went to 100% rep adoption, right? Why? I don't know why it is, but salespeople know it. They want to keep it simple copy and paste, right? Make it easy for me to be able to bring all this data into my particular profile. But all profile. the heavy lifting was done for them. All of it was done for them, exactly. Well, to your second point though is, is now that you've got the right gear, the right fishing pole, what, what do you do now? Should I teach you how to fish and where to fish? No, absolutely not. Now you have to make sure that you've got the right bait to bait your hook. And this is where we work um, and how we bridge together sales and marketing together. We work with extensively with marketing to understand a content strategy assessment. Do they have the right content for sales enablement? If they don't have the right content, we'll do the strategy assessment and then we will begin creating content for them if they want us to create content. Well, let's just pretend that they do have the right strategy, they do have the right content, uh, and they don't need our help there. Well, now you need a vehicle to be able to distribute your content before you teach a rep to go out and actually fish and where to fish at. And that's that distribution through like sales advocacy tools or employee advocacy tools. So that step, step is so important. So if you're working with a consultant, they're not doing those types of things because they don't know in most cases because they've never really deployed out programs like the way we have, both as a practitioner as well as, as with our clients. And once you do that, and you've given them the right bait, you've given them the right hook, you've given them uh, the, um, uh, the right vehicle to distribute that bait, 
Now you're ready to go ahead and teach a rep how to fish and where to fish. And those are very important steps. The pole, the bait, how to fish and where to fish. Those are the steps you've got to go through. So if you're, if you're immediately going here, Bernie, that's it. Save your money. That's what I mean. Just don't waste your money. You must go through these other processes and we have a whole entire 10 step process that we work with with our clients to go through. Whether you've got 10 sales reps or whether you've got 10,000 sales reps, the process is the same and it works because it landed me a spot speaking at LinkedIn's uh, it did. Uh, annual it users did. conference. And it was a well-deserved spot at that. And I think we'll close it there. And that 10 step process that Mario has just referred to, you can learn more about that on our website. In fact, we have a whole podcast just on that one topic alone. So go to vengresso.com, go to the blog area, our podcasts are there as well. You'll find a podcast episode on that topic as well as many other related topics. So we'll end it there for today, Mario. This is yep. Bernie Borges from Vengresso. Mario Martinez Jr. See you next time.